I've been playing the Rogue Legacy 2 beta patch, and they've been asking for some feedback on a few feeds. I decided I think I have enough conversation, enough thoughts, to provide the feedback. So let's first talk about what they want to get a feedback on. Um, so they want, they had a dexterity and focus change. Now, the focus change does not work because they have to do some changes to um, the equipment. They have to do changes to the spells so that the you can actually get crits with them. Until you can get crits, focus change doesn't mean anything. We'll be talking a lot about dexterity in a bit. XP change? XP just has felt good. I'm not one of the people that are huge on the XP system. I just kind of play the game and it grows. So I've been feeling fine with the XP algorithm. I'm not sure like if it's supposed to be faster, if it's supposed to be slower. It just, it's been feeling fine for me. Um, up, I'd suggest listening to other people on that. Um, armor, gear, and relic change? Um, I found that um, the armor has like an issue, the armor has an issue where it's not blocking up to 40% of oncoming damage, so I can't really judge that. Um, as for the gear and relic changes, I think they feel okay, just making equip weight actually important even in the late game. Um, seems fine. And that's really the three feeds. As you might have noticed, one, I'm not the best person to listen to the opinion on, XP. Two, don't actually work, armor and focus don't really work. And then the third is dexterity. So this video is on dexterity. So I'd like to just show you uh, what dexterity looks like. So when you first get to this game, when you start at level one, you have 15 vital, you have 15 in basically every stat. 15 vitality, zero armor, but 15 strength, 50 intelligence, 50 dexterity, 50 focus. And you see weapon crit chance is at 5% as a knight, because knights get a base plus 5% crit chance. Um, magic crit chance is at 0%, but then both of these. So I think this is where it's interesting. So for the people who don't know, dexterity, decides how much crit damage you deal. And so they have this dex bonus scaling and focus bonus scaling. These both start at 35%. So what I thought this meant was that every critical hit deals 35% damage at 15 dex. And then as you get to 16, 17, 18 dex, it would go from 35 to 36, 37, 38, 39. Like it would just, it, it would just scale probably like one, maybe two, 1.5, maybe 2% per increase. And so I started increasing dexterity. I looked down, I'm like, why is dex bonus not scaling? Why is it still at 35%? Turns out I didn't understand it exactly. So the way dex works is, so there's a calculation of how much damage an attack does. So let's say your attack deals two times your strength score of damage. Well, dex does, um, dex would deal two times your dex score in additional damage, and then you multiply that number by the percent, by the percent. So in this case, it would be by 35%. For me now, it's 38%. That took me a while to figure out. When you just see dexterity, weapon, crit chance, dex bonus scaling, you think that, okay, these three are all locked together. Therefore, these three are all important. These all work together. So this bonus scaling is tied directly to dexterity. No, no. Um, you actually don't get the dex scaling until Laundromat, way up here which is locked by a level 58, 56 lock, so you can't even upgrade this until you're about level 56, versus Dexterity, which is way down here, just after the Duelist. So this was like level 20, and you can't actually get... So let's start with this. As long as it's 35%, it's really hard to argue that Dexterity is worth the while when you have Strength right here, when you have another Strength right here. As long as you could be upgrading Strength, why are you upgrading Dex? You're getting 35%. Now. As you keep increasing Laundromat, as you keep increasing Weapon Crits, this will go above 100%, and there is the element of Super Crits. So, yeah, I will state this. So every character has a way to get a critical hit. Um, perfect releases are skill crits. So what that means, if I could go up to Lady Quinn, um, if I just attack, I deal my damage, but if I hold it, there's that little flash. And if I attack right as that flash occurs, it's an auto crit. And then if, in addition to that auto crit, I get lucky and that 1% roll hits, then it's a super crit, which is, you know, the crit happening by luck and the crit happening by skill. I will say, I love the skill crit. I love the skill crit system. I love so much of this system, except for this dex bonus scaling, this focus bonus scaling. This is where I feel it's very weird. First of all, it's not intuitive. If you see dexterity here and then a dex bonus scaling percent, you're assuming these are tied together as an in increasing one's going to increase the other. That's not how it works. It took me, what was it? When I was messing with dexterity at the start of this, I think it took me three tries 
to understand what was going on. As in, I did it. It didn't work. Someone explained it to me. I didn't. I understood it, and I understood it wrong. So then they needed to explain it to me again, and then I think that they needed to explain it to me a third time. Three times I do attempt to understand what dexterity and dex bonus scaling does. That's not good. Um, so basically, I will state this. I don't know. Um, so there are two main issues I'd like to bring up. So the first is dexterity in the early game when dex bonus scaling is staying at thirty five percent. Until level 56, dex bonus scaling is going to be at 35%, basically. In addition, I'd like to talk about elegance. Um, Reti has brought this up. Some people want more information. I'm on the grounds of less information. Honestly, with these crit chances being at 0% at the start, unless you get, um, like, a class that gives you plus vitality, or you get gear, there is gear that increases crit chance. Um, if you don't have those, then your crit chance stays the same. So I think weapon crit chance, dex bonus scaling, I think both both of these bars here could disappear. I think you could just have cut it off after dexterity of focus, and then you get to equipment weight, rune weight. I think we don't have to have these two additional bars and clutter up the screen. Because right now, weapon crit chance and dex bonus scaling are seen as important as the stats. If we just have our six our eight stats, our vitality and armor as defensive, strength and intelligence as base, dexterity of focus as crit, and equip and rune weight as kind of your balance weights. I think that's enough information. And then we might... Probably a bad idea, but I was going to say, then we might have space to put some other information in here. Maybe if you highlight over Vitality, it gives a description here. I'm All I'm saying is, even if you can't do anything like that, I do think having six slots for critical hits, when most of it just, like, is really hard to grasp what's going on, I think that's ineffective for um, the way you want to make it look. That's really what I'm saying. So, for elegance, I think dexterity and focus is good enough. And I know that sounds weird, because a lot of people want to know the numbers, want to know the calculations. But when you're playing the game, you just want to know that critting is good, and you have a number for better crits. You want to see that strength is 15, and dexterity is 30. Oh, I'm a crit character, or strength is 31, dexterity... Yeah, strength is 31, dexterity is 36. So I'm a bit more of a crit character. Or maybe strength is 40, dex is 10. Alright, crits don't matter much. Like, that's really all you need to see. That's really it. Um, I think most people are happy with that alone. In addition, so, I re with not seeing this dex bonus scaling, it becomes really weird to understand how dex bonus scaling works. And it scales great in the late game, but horribly in the early game. Again, 35%. That means that every one point of dexterity, unless you're getting super crits, unless you have great bonus crit chance, every one point of dexterity is worth... 0.35 of a point of strength. And strength is easier to get than dexterity. Dexterity is not worth it in the early game. Which feels really bad. So what I would do is I would... And this is where I would get controversial. This is where someone who plays the late, late game will probably need to step in and talk about balance. But I don't think dex bonus scaling needs to be here at all. I think what you should do is with your 15 strength, your 15 intelligence, your... F I think you should have 5 dexterity, 5 focus, so it's much smaller. Because your dex bonus scaling and focus bonus scaling are going to just be base 100%. These don't have to be numbers that we care about. Not until you get to level 56 and you get to buy the laundromat and increase them higher. Not until you get lucky enough to pick up a room to increase the critical strike damage by 10%. To get the magic break. To increase crit chance. Things of that nature. Which is where it brings me to how this works with the end game. There are now, was it six? If you count the soul steel and life steel, there are eight, but I'm just gonna stick with just those. Six relics, six runes that you can pick up and improve yourself to make your crits stronger. I think that's enough for making late game dex builds a viable theme. If you have you have six different ways to make your runes more powerful. I think that's beautiful. I think that's an amazing way to just, like, make sure you have a crit chance. You also have relics that you can find. Um, I would actually increase the amount of relics that work with crit chance. Your um, Atropo Scissors, the Clotho Spindle, that sort of stuff. I would actually add an additional crit. Something that maybe um, a Master Talent that applies vulnerable to enemies after doing a certain condition. Maybe something that charges you after certain requirements are met. Just something of that nature. Something that um, makes critting really, like, basically the idea with crits is you would, you're you having to play a specific way. You have to 
play for the super or crits. You need to play to certain outs. I think that's a super cool way of doing it. But they need to be supported in the early game. And like, even if you make it too... Here's another theme. If you make it too powerful in the early game, I'm going to guess that most players aren't going to notice. Keep in mind, these skill crits, you have to do perfect releases with the Barbarian. You have to time this exact release. You can't just tap the button. You have to time that release. And most people are not going to be able to do that when they first start boot up this game. Um, dash attacks are actually really hard to do because a lot of people are just going to be dashing straight into the enemy and hurting themselves. I see no problem if the, if the people want to do dex builds early. I think I see no problem with people trying to do it, and like I think most players will not be able to do it. Dex is like a cool way of trying to focus maneuvering over damage, and then you get damage in the process. And like that's perfect for dex, and it's also so yeah. First of all, I just want to state um skill crits because I know that was one of the questions. What do you think of skill crits? Skill crits are the best thing you've added. I think that's amazing. I think if you could get that working with focus and spell crits, that's just going to be, like, the best part of this game. Or, like, the best new item coming up in the next patch. But it needs to be worth something. I would say have your deck start at 5, have the bonus scaling just be a flat 100%. This changes nothing in the early game. In the very early game, and then you start increasing decks. And increasing decks will actually matter. Um, for new players, maybe this doesn't mean much, because you're just, you're not being able to get those crits. But for us... Like, the fact that we can get super crits, it allows for the greater potential. It allows for greater potential power. And then it also has, as I said, you have six runes minimum. Um, they're moving so that life steal focuses on dexterity and soul steal focuses on focus. So those count as well. Um, retaliation is also focused on fo also has focus base. And then, as I said, the six down here. Better crit chance. Better uh, magic break. Better er, damage. Like... Then we have the vulnerable condition, we have the charge condition, like, I think crits are, like, really well built now. We just need to, like, make it so that they scale properly. Because I think a lot of people have said that they seem to be fine in the late game. As far as I understand, people have said that they're good in the late game. It's a way, the few, when you get into the late, late game, you have to rely on crits, because, let me just be clear, in every system I think about that has, like, a crit system that it can be scaled, what happens is the crit system... Trades consistency for power, which means in the late game where you just need more and more power, it on average has more power. Because consistency doesn't matter because you're attacking an enemy a hundred times anyways. So, anyway, what I was getting at is that... Okay, so, so let me just list the changes that I would suggest. I don't think crit chance... I don't think these additional crit chance dex bonus scaling, I don't think these need to be here. Maybe we could just remove the bonus scaling and this just becomes 100% and we don't even touch it. If people are increasing that, they could see it elsewhere. We could see it in gear. If you have a crit rune that increases crit chance and stuff, it could be shown here in your runes. <clears throat> Dexterity and focus should start at 5 to make up for the fact that they're much stronger later. We already have to wait till about level 20 to start increasing them over here. So it's going to be a while before you can do the focus build. Um, even if crits were the strongest thing in, like, we're probably going to be doing crit, um, skill crits in speedruns, like, from here on out. And even then, I think it's going to be hard for me to get to a gym. Because it's just, it's so many levels, and I have to buy the dance hall. Sometimes I don't even buy the dance hall. Like, even though skill crits are going to be best for speedruns, like, it's going to be a while. And then, like, there's no chance I'm getting to level 56 in the laundromat. Not in a speedrun. Not in a speedrun. So... Yeah, I don't think um, that will change the early game much. Just gain dexterity to, down to 5, and just remove dex bonus scaling. Remove, make it a little more elegant. Make it a little easier to understand what's going on. That is my main suggestion. Obviously, you don't have to listen to everything I said. There's a lot of people that have played other, that enjoy it in certain ways. I have not... I don't have too much experience with the late game, so you're going to have to hear someone else about whether or not this still will scale in the late game, all that stuff. I know people were talking about some skill crits are easier than others. I know the assassin being a very big example where the third attack is just always a skill crit. So, I don't know. I'm going to be clear. I need to see some feedback. I need. I would like, if people could, um, comment on this video, just respond, what do you guys think? Is this a good idea? 
if you, I think for the early game, this is a good idea. It just makes it a lot easier to approach because there's not just this huge chunk of six items versus four up here, two up here, two down here. Like the least important takes up the most space. I feel like this is two items and takes up six slots. So yeah, I would like to hear your thoughts and feedback. Um, whatever you guys think, I would appreciate it. I do think that this would be better for the game, but again, I have one person out of many. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll get back to you later. Do none of the plaques have details on crit stuff? Right here. Dexterity change. New dex focus algorithm. Linear instead of multiplicative. No longer possible to raise crit chance. New feature, skill crits. Players can now always land a guaranteed critical strike. Rehold the skill tree to account for all these changes. We now exclusively scale off focus and dexterity. So, I was answering the question of do I enjoy skill crits? Heck yes. Um, is the early game easier? Is it too easy? It is... So, here's the theme. Actually, this is a new additional information. Um, is the early game easier? Is it too easy? New players will probably notice a no effect. There will probably be no significant difference for new players, because they can't really do skill crits when they're still learning the game. Meanwhile, when I'm facing Lamech, suddenly the ability to use Shield Dash as an aggressive tool instead of a defensive one, the ability to dash back and forth to deal additional damage to Lamech, that's actually making the game the skill seal the skill floor remains the same and doesn't get any easier. The skill ceiling, you get way better, you're able to go way faster. It's a lot harder, but you're so much stronger if you know what you're doing. Which is awesome. Is the late game harder? Is it too hard? There's a debate as to what the late game is. And again, I said I want to let other people talk about the late game, because I don't know too much about it. Is Dex slash focus still feel valuable? So, this is the first time dexterity or focus felt valuable at all to me. This is just my opinion, I'm not much of a crit build, crit fisher person. But this is the first time that dexterity was something that I was excited to pick up. Skill fo oh, crit foc skill crits are such an awesome system because it makes it so that I can put the opportunity cost in my hand instead of theirs. It's hard to pull off the opportunity to dash and attack every single attack, but I think it's amazing. So I think that's awesome. Then the XP change. I Again, I don't know the exact system. They just said the algorithm for XP is rehauled. Um, new boost to get current XP to the old version and rehauled. I accidentally clicked, so it went back. Let me go back here. But anyways, yeah. This is everything it says about dexterity. Then with the XP change. Um, so they rehauled how em enemies grant XP and how it caps. That doesn't really tell me much. Um, so they're just wondering, does it feel better? Um, did the catch-up XP work properly? I did not bring over an old save. Is leveling too easy now, especially leveling class classes that were neglected? I don't think it... I think with this, it's just a question of how easy, um, leveling is supposed to be. Because it didn't feel... Like, I'm not getting to max level. Um, so to show you, I'm at new game... I'm at level 89, I'm at a new game plus one. And I'm at level, you know, six, four, two, a lot of threes, a two, a one, because I can't play Gunslinger much. I only played Ranger because I got a frying pan off of it. Um, stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't think leveling is... I mean, here's the thing. I definitely kill a lot less enemies than other people, so it's entirely possible that scaling is too easy. But in my opinion, this seems fine. Like, this seems fine to me. Everything level 3 at this point sounds great. So, XP scaling seems to be working fine. Um, so then there's the armor, gear, and relic change. Armor algorithm, all the changes with armor algorithm, because this is broken, because it's up to 4% of incoming damage instead of up to 40%, you can't really judge armor. They're going to fix that. Until they do, you can't judge it in the beta patch. By the way, that's the reason that only some people have access to the beta patch. A lot of the things I'm bringing up, they are not accessible if you turn on the game now, because they know that this area has glitches. If you were watching earlier, you'll see me fall off the edge of the world. Like, there are bugs in this one. They knew that coming in. That's why they didn't give it to everyone. But they asked for my opinion because I do speedruns and stuff, so I take dedication and think about that stuff in the game. So, I appreciate being here. I hope it was worth it. So then, the last thing is just, does equipment weight feel more important after the balance? One of the big things is whip equipment weight now goes up by 20% every time you level it up. Basically, this just makes it so that um, leveling up armor is it just an always, like, once you get enough equip weights to equip all your armor, you just ignore equip weight entirely. Now it actually still matters, and I think that's worthwhile. And in addition, um, here's a big theme with that. 
Leather Unity no longer does um, bonus equip weight. It does bonus resolve. Which is super cool, by the way. That is super cool, by the way. So I can... Yeah, here, let me go... Um, remove Warden Chest, put on my Leather Chest plus one. Warden Helm, Leather Helm plus one. Leather Weapon plus one. Notice my, da notice my resolve. Plus 236... 236%. I have more resolve than I started with. I have more resolve than should be possible. Oh, hold up. Let's remove the resolve room. 226%. Alright, so it doesn't affect the resolve room. That's good to know. So yeah, I have 26% more resolve than I should at this point. Than I should if if I unequipped all my armor, I'd have less resolve. That's the power of the new equip leather set. That's how it works. I think that's fantastic. I think that's fantastic personally. So I like everything. I trust that um, once the focus and um, armor changes are fixed, that these will all be positive things. But it was just that dex. That dex scaling felt really weird. So that's why I made sure to make that into a video-like format so that I could show them. Oof. All right. 